Hey guys and welcome back to another top 10 video. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 nitpicks for Halo Infinite. Number 10, Forgeable AI. I don't know why this one is on my list, but it seems kind of important. Wouldn't it be awesome to have an endless horde mode? Some of Halo's most important game modes have come from Forge, such as Oddball. Number 9 Funny Marines It was pretty awesome to have funny marines, they were pretty funny, so I think it'd be a good idea to have them back. Marines have just been kind of dead in the last two games. Wait, they weren't even in Halo 5, my bad. Sorry guys. Number 8 The AA Wraith Personally, I have never used this vehicle. But it looks pretty cool. Number 7. The Sentinel Beam. It was pretty fun using this laser. And Halo 5 had a distinct lack of lasers. So this would be pretty cool. Games are always better with more lasers. Number 6. SPV3 Guns. SPV3 is a pretty cool mod for Halo Custom Edition, I really recommend you play it. And it has some pretty awesome guns too, and not to mention the grenades. My personal favourite would be the Brute Needler, that is pretty cool. And they also have a pretty nice design for the saw, but I don't think it's called that, I think it's just a generic LMG. Number 5. In Halo Reach Evolve, Elites would be in their Elite Minor armor and their Special armor that came in base Halo Reach. For example, the Elite Ultras would be in the Elite Minor armor with white coloring, but then sometimes they would be in their Elite Ultra armor just like Classic Reach. Now I think this is a pretty cool idea and that 343 should definitely implement it in Halo Infinite. Number 4. I think it would be pretty cool to have the Banished in Halo Infinite. And if 343 brought them into Halo Infinite, you could have the Halo Wars 2 leader, Colony, in the game. Which I think would be pretty cool. And this would add all the Hunter variants that he has in Halo Wars 2. And it would also be pretty cool if you could mantle on them. Just like in Halo Reach Evolved and shove a grenade in their back to blow them up. Number 3. Okay guys, I'm gonna be real with you. 343's design for the Grunt Rangers absolutely suck. So can we just replace them already with the Grunt Ultras from Halo Reach? This would be great because you'd have to shoot off their helmets first before you could get a headshot, just making the game even more tedious. And whilst we're at it, let's add the skirmishers back, because a great game is a really annoying and tedious one. Number 2. The Old Energy Sword Sound Effects The Old Energy Sword Sound Effects were pretty cool. They didn't sound like anything else. The new energy swords sound effects sound a bit like a lightsaber and that's pretty lame because as we all know, lightsabers are really lame. If you like Star Wars, you're a nerd. Number 1 This is a make or break feature for Halo Infinite. If we for free don't add this, I can guarantee literally no one will buy the game. The thing Halo the Infinite needs the most is ASMR Gravemind played by Luke. Or Hidden Xperia to those who aren't big YouTubers like myself. So guys, that was my top 10 Halo Infinite nitpicks. If you liked the video, please subscribe. And if you dislike the video, please like it.